Sure. I'll give you that. It's thicker than a typical laptop. But if you talk about comparing this thing to a desktop, how big is it? Hey, welcome back to the channel, folks. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the Legion Pro 7i by Lenovo. Now, you may be like, I thought you just found a new computer. And I thought I did. If you're new to the channel, I was looking for a laptop that I could take with me while I'm traveling to maximize my productivity, not only when I'm working, but for a lot of the content creation that I do in my personal life. And honestly, the small, thinner laptop that I reviewed previously, while it was nice and it was portable, it doesn't have the performance that I would like to do really do some serious editing in a timely manner while I'm out and on the go. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna just go ahead and dive in and start reviewing the different aspects of this device. The first thing that I see is that we have this nice aluminum top, which is pretty cool, but it's also a fingerprint magnet, as I can see. Um, you actually have some port descriptions for the ports in the back. Uh, the bottom also made out of aluminum on this model. And let's see, you get these rubber feet um, to raise and elevate the keyboard a bit, I mean the laptop a bit off the desk so that you can get some ventilation. So taking a look at the sides here, I can see on this side you get a headphone jack, you get a switch for your kill switch for your uh, webcam, a USB type B port. And then if I move this over to the back, I can see this is where majority of the ports are housed. You have the network port, you have a USB type C with power delivery. So you can charge a device from this, uh, from this uh, port, uh, as well as provide display output. You also have an HDMI port, full size HDMI to be exact, two USB-A ports, one uh, supports overnight charging, whatever that means. Um, and then you have the charger that you'll use to charge this laptop itself. However, it is nice to note that you can charge the laptop using this USB-C port if you need to. Just note that since a lot of the components in this laptop are pretty beefy and require a lot of power, your performance will be degraded if you're not utilizing the proprietary charger that comes with this device. On the left-hand side, we can see we have a USB-C port uh, that supports Thunderbolt 3 or 4. I'll have to double check and then a USB, another USB-A port. So that's pretty cool. You get four USB-A ports as well as two USB-C ports. That's, that's freaking nice. Finally, a, a, a company making a laptop that actually has ports that make sense. Like if you're gonna build something of this size, at least give us all the ports that we can dream of. You know, one more USB-C port would have been over, over the moon, but I am so satisfied with the amount of ports that this thing has. Let's see if this thing supports the one hand hinge open. And it does. But as much as this computer weighs, I'd be surprised if it didn't. <laughs> um, not sure if you can see much, but, but yeah. So I'm gonna rotate it back this way. So whereas the top and bottom was made out of aluminum, I do notice that this is uh, not aluminum, not metal. This is made out of some plastic material, uh, but overall doesn't feel bad. Trackpad, this appears to be made out of plastic as well. Not the best feeling trackpad that I've had, but not the worst either. And then over here, we have the Lenovo keyboard. Just about a full size keyboard with a numpad off to the side here. And then you have the arrow keys that they drop down to actually give, make it full size as opposed to bunching it up just to cram it in that space. So that's pretty nice. It is off centered though, so that is something to note. You won't be directly in front of the screen when you're typing on it. So I'll go ahead and hit that power button and power it up see what this thing looks like. The specs on this thing are freaking nice. You have a Intel 13th Gen 3900, uh, I wanna say. I'll put the specs on there just in case I'm lying. <laughs> but essentially you get uh, 16 cores, uh, but 32 threads. So you essentially get 32 virtual cores with this device, which is freaking insane. My desktop over here that I built a few years ago, it is dated at this point, but it only has eight cores and it doesn't have hyper threading. So you're not getting double the core count. It's just eight threads. So this is a really nice amount of real estate to, to work with. This has the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So you're getting a lot, of, a lot more vertical real estate than you would 
on a traditional 16 by nine laptop that maybe supports a resolution of like 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440. The resolution on here is 2560 by 1600. And um, you know, it looks damn good if I must say, but yeah, this is a pretty solid keyboard to type on. I, I must say, um, even though I don't have anything going on right there, it's very similar to my work laptop. I mean, it's identical to my work laptop. It's a Lenovo keyboard. Uh, <laughs> or you can see my work laptop is the exact same keyboard. So it's nothing new for me in this aspect. This is what it feels like to type on this keyboard. Pretty solid. One of the specs that I didn't mention and one of the reasons as to why I bought this laptop is that it comes with an RTX 4080 GPU. That is a beast of a GPU. And I get it, this is a big laptop. It, it has a huge, humongous power brick. But if I have to be honest about how I actually plan to utilize a laptop, I don't plan to just sit in a coffee diner and, and do some casual work. No, if I'm in a, it, and this is me personally, everybody uses a laptop differently. And so you wanna evaluate that if your use case is different. But for me, if I'm gonna use a laptop, I'm gonna likely be set up in a studio-like environment so that I can get the most out of my laptop and, and get really comfortable. So honestly, carrying around something like this in a bag um, that will be at a stationary location at a time, it's not a, it's not a big deal to me. The GPU that's in here is, the performance is better than the desktop GPU that I currently have in my desktop build PC, which is the RTX 2070 Super. <gasps> I figured if I was gonna upgrade my desktop while looking for a laptop, I might as well get a laptop that can replace it. You know, something that I can utilize while I'm here or take with me because it offers that portability with the, the size um, uh, that it is. It's not as big as an 18 inch, something that you couldn't even cram into a bag, uh, but it is on the heavier end. That's one of the things that I wanna test is how difficult is it to put something like this in a bag? Here I have a 15 inch backpack. Um, let's see if this fits. It may or it may not. Here we go, by the way. This fits in this bag. Now it is cutting it close, but you know, it fits in the bag of a 15, 15 inch. That's pretty portable. And that's just one section of this bag. So tons of room to add in other stuff battery and so forth and whatever you need to travel with it. So to me, I think it's, I think that's pretty nice. Would I recommend this to uh, to somebody? I think it's one of the best laptops that you can get for your money at the price point that you can. Like I was able to pick this up on eBay for about uh, $1,700, $1,700, $1,800. Like you have a lot of laptops that feature the specs that this laptop has um, that costs like 4,000, 5,000, upwards to 6,000 and even more, which is ridiculous and something that I'm not shelling out for a laptop. Well, what's even nice about this laptop is that it's user upgradable, which means if we pop off the bot, if we pop off the bottom plate here, you'll find that you can upgrade the storage, the RAM, Wi-Fi card, so so you don't have to buy it with the Mac specifications where you have some laptops that, you know, what you buy is what you get because it's soldered on to the motherboard. In this case, you can get this with 16 gigs of RAM, upgrade the RAM to 64 if you want, upgrade it to 32 if you want, if you don't need 64. But just to know that that is an option is pretty nice to have. And uh, one of the reasons that drew me to purchasing this laptop at the price point that I did. If you do want to check out this video, I will have affiliate links in the description. So if you purchase using the link, a portion of what you spend will come to the channel of, of course, no cost to you. And that's just what helps me keep pumping out these tutorials and doing these helpful reviews for you guys. As always, folks, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.